Welcome to the latest anime news for the week ending November 3rd, 2024. We have two things to talk about today. The first being the Vatican's new anime mascot, uh, pronounced, I think, Luce? 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 L-U-C-E. I'm not sure how to pronounce it uh, in terms of the actual thing. But yes, um, if you are into interested in it, that is the mascot. I've just thrown it onto the screen. It is a mascot uh, for the upcoming Expo 2025, I believe, where there, it was going to be in Osaka, Japan. So they have an, an actual oh, luce. Okay, fair enough. Uh, they have an actual anime mascot for the Catholic religion, kind of, sort of. Well, for the Vatican, I guess. Um, mm. Who is a cute little child. When is the Nendoroid coming out? Good question. <laughs> yes. Press a button and goes, Nomine Christia. And there, there are others, to get him on his point. There are, there are several other mascots. This is the first big one to be introduced. And there are a bunch of... Uh, um, it, it has taken the world by storm in, in terms of fan art and, and such. People have, have gotten very excited about these characters. I wonder how they would feel about positive ne negative angler or, or yeah. perhaps Uzumaki or, or the, the, the one with the reincarnated wife you know, as a child. Gotta be as, gotta be as <laughs> open-minded as possible. Right. Yes. Um, I wonder how this is going to. It'll be uh, undoubtedly mostly manufactured in China, but <laughs> will this be something that the Chinese government would be happy to have distributed in China? Probably not. Uh, because, distributed in what sense? Um. Well, like sold at stores in China that people would take home. Oh, it, it's, it's, I mean, it's not a, a merchandise of, I, 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 as far as I know, it is a mascot. Like, so that you don't they, think they, there'll be merch you know, made from it? I mean, there, there may be merch, but I, I, I don't think the intent is merch. You know, they may yeah. sell something at the booth in Osaka, but I think it's more to have the mascots. Right. Because right. yeah, it just occurs to me, it's like, I wonder how that would go in a country mm -hmm. that is not open to uh, religious uh, experience like that to have that at, if it was a merch available item to mm -hmm. be like ooh I wonder how that would go yeah but, in, in, a, in a legitimate question because um, if you're going to make the mascot you're going to want to make the manga and the the anime I mean that those are just the natural progressions of, of having the mascot yep. I would mm -hmm. think <clears throat> it's not so much about mer merchandising but just putting it out there mm -hmm. and <clears throat> would this be something that they would who would do that I guess is my is my question who who what would be the agency to do that because I, I honestly don't think that anyone in Japan any of the studios in Japan would really care if the contract was offered to them and they would be like, yeah, sure, we would do it. I think that would happen. You know, Tezuka I, I did the Bible. Any... Right, right, right. Exactly. Veggie, that's my veggie point. Tales exists. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but, but my point is, is like, yeah. I'm kind of wondering, like, who would, who would, who would actually want that contract? Because that would be very interesting because yeah. depending upon who the studio is, they could, do a good job with that. I think. I, I, I mean, I'm being serious. I, yeah. You know, I, I think they could do a good a good job with that, and that would be more to the church's point, which is what they want. Well, what the other question happen. is, what story do you tell? Um, like, I, I can absolutely right. imagine this being used for Bible stories, right? For right. We're going to do devotional right. exactly. kind of yes. stuff, or we're going to explain Bible stories through these characters or whatever. David and the lion. David and the lion. Right. You know, exactly. Things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Um, not with the actual characters, hopefully, but as, as some kind of, you know, right, yeah. explanatory thing. But yeah, uh, so you've got that obvious thing. But you could certainly do original stories with the characters. You know, you could do how to be a, a good person kind of stories right. with this. Right. Absolutely. Dora the Explorer, but with Luce. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah, actually. And yeah. other characters. Or you could go kind of Hello Kitty, right? It could just be their general 
adventures in the world, and there will be a moral aspect to it. But so is right. same as right. with any kids show, right? You could absolutely go in that direction, right? Yeah, I can see it, um, and well, I, can I just I just see that being something that you could easily see if you were visiting the Vatican. That there's, yeah. know, I'm assuming that, I don't know, but I'm assuming there's a gift shop. As weird as that might sound, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Some place where you could yeah. go buy devotional candles, but you'd right, also, sure. yeah, no joke, probably buy a T-shirt that says the Vatican on. Mm -hmm. just because yeah so it's like that's when i see this that's yeah. why i think mm -hmm. merch yeah. because it's something that you want you would like someone to look at it and say it's cute mm -hmm. and then buy it and be like then you want to explore yeah. why yeah, does right. this thing exist why does mm -hmm. it have a rosary and then yeah. that would help you to access the faith and so and like, to your point this is the thing that you sell to youth groups that you prov I, I i say sell not in the mercantile sense but you say you know if you're a youth group and you want to you know provide this to your your kids and they want to have this sure, yeah. now there's this cute character on their on their their chests and now they can go off somebody says you know who's that character oh it's the, the vatican actually has this you know and it's a talking point yeah yeah absolutely it's also it's it's like toys for tots mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah. it's also something that it's easy to hand out mm -hmm. to be like oh you know we've gone somewhere we're handing to underprivileged children they don't have toys here's some of these little toys that you can yeah. play with and it reinforces the the message of the church I, mm -hmm. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. That's it just point. seems kind of like that's why you'd make something like that that's mm -hmm. cute and portable. It's a mascot. You know, it's like, mm, okay. Because mm -hmm. I can't see the Pope standing up at, you know, St. Peter's Basilica <laughs> and Luke's yeah. standing right next to it <laughs> while he's delivering an address. Be like, I There's want to see that. Although, although, the Pope. So, yeah. I'm kind of being half serious about this. I would like to see the cosplay. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. You know, there probably will be somebody out there right now is like, mm -hmm. I'm going to try that. Yep. I'm like, oh boy. Wait for the next con. I'm sure we'll see them. Um, um, moving on, as fun as that is, uh, we also had some news this week of some arrests around the um, a spoiler site. Uh, so this is a somewhat uh, a growing element of controversy. Uh, there are these sites where they uh, publish details about upcoming movies. And it's not just, you know, here's a quick plot summary. It's transcribing the full contents of the movie, right? Here is line by line, dialogue line by dialogue line, the entire movie on this site. Um, and basically this group called CODA, the Content Overseas Distribution Association in Tokyo, um, has, has basically said, yeah, I don't think that's kosher. Like, we're fine with quoting, we're quite fine with summaries, we're fine with, you know, here's a paragraph of, of what somebody said in a movie and so forth, but transcribing the entire movie word for word seems like a bit much and so they have arrested three individuals who were allegedly involved in uh one of these sites uh which transcribed uh godzilla minus one um and apparently overlord three the entire season <clears throat> okay <laughs> why yeah. yeah it doesn't kind of beg the question of why would you do that yeah um, because I don't know, um, but yeah, it's like a huge amount of effort to do, like to mm -hmm. transcribe it. I mean, I, I certainly understand somebody stole it and posted the video. Yeah, where you're like, oh no, no, no right. you can't right. do that. You know, it's not released yet or something. But to go to the trouble to transcribe the entirety of a whole film, mm -hmm. wow. Uh, I don't know. So that is a thing. Uh, Coda has said uh, we like. We, we acknowledge that this is not uploading an entire movie, right? This is not that. It's yeah. not as, as big of a deal as that. But it goes beyond the scope of quoting or summarizing and so forth. And so we, they think it, it crosses the line into copyright infringement. So, yeah. So to put, to, to put that in context, uh, for theater work, um, mm. when you do a, a play, um, even nonprofits have to do this. You have to make sure you pay 
for the script. Even though you can yep. access the script probably in a library, right? Mm -hmm. Or something, but you have to pay whoever the IP owners or the, the, the copyright owners or whatever, mm -hmm. you have to pay them their money. And you have to you, you have to do that. Like um, <clears throat> before I left uh, to speak Shakespeare Company, mm. they did a version of Dracula, and they they had to purchase the rights to do to even just get the script. Mm -hmm. So you know, part of it is <clears throat> I think it's it's not so much of a monetary value of it as it is a control on who does it, and, and because you don't want. Go ahead. And to that point, just just to clarify, this was a for profit site. Like they were making money right. off of this, right? Doing this, yeah. <laughs> so you don't, you know, why would you, you know? There are people out there who like that and want that, and they'll they will pay for it and and to have it, and it's kind of like going, okay, well, that's we don't give you permission to do that, yeah. And so that's that's a very real thing, and even though it's not the same as like John saying is, is you know downloading a movie illegally. It's still property. It's yeah. still somebody's right. thing. It some it actually is somebody else's bread and butter. Yeah, you know. Um, the ANN article also points out that uh, uh, Coda discovered that the the company's management and employees colluded to systematically commit copyright infringement and operate the website for profit. So this isn't just you know one or right. two people. This right. is a company with management and employees. That's that's, yeah. that's a significant wow. operation going on there. Yeah, it's not a couple I'm, of otaku hacker otakus are just like yeah. we just want everybody to know. Here you go. Yeah, you know, which I'm going to imagine they would apply the same theory to it, even though that was for profit. That if somebody said, "Well, I'm just you know, I just go through and I just listen to the movie and I just type things yeah. up and post it," they're like commentary, short synopsis. No, you've gone through and typed out the entirety of something. It doesn't matter if it's for free or for profit. Mm -hmm. It's still you're stealing basically the script from yeah. Yeah. without permission from us. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's interesting. I would never have thought that that was a thing. Yeah. So that's Me neither. interesting. Mm -hmm. that's, that is mm -hmm. a that is a thing. So it turns yeah, out. I'd rather watch Godzilla minus one versus sit down with the with the novel of the screenplay like. Mm -hmm. This is getting into the weeds a little bit, but how much were they charging for these things? Yeah, I do not. I, I do not know. Yeah, um, I'm assuming it was a membership site, so you pay oh, okay. ten bucks okay, a month okay. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, but I don't know. It's a good question. You go read the Dumb and Dumber the screenplay. <laughs> Yay! Oh, I don't really want to. No. Here's 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 how I see the jail happening. I murdered three people. I dismembered 28. Where are you in for? I, I stole a script. <laughs> You're coming to the showers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and yeah, and to your point, Kenamono, you know, doing it at a scale to attract the attention of the IP owners. That's a whole other side. Yeah. Of yeah. Yeah. Oof. So don't do that, please, if you want to stay out of jail. Yeah. Just <laughs> Not a good idea. It's not a good idea. Not a, not a good idea. Um, so, yeah, that's all the news we mentioned to uh, talk about this week. So that'll do it for that week. <laughs>